Welcome gods and goddesses to the Lighthouse Temple of Healing. I am your Oracle Rose Delphi. What's up guys? I'm here to do another collective reading. So as you know, this is just a collective reading and it's also a timeless reading. So whenever you see this, it will be for you and take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you want a um, personal reading, hit me up. I offer so many things, guys. You guys could purchase my my personal oracle decks that I've created. You guys can get readings from me. Um, I also have a line of oils and bath salts that I offer, anointing, anointed hand oil, um, but you can use it in your bath, on your face, all that stuff, okay? Go check it out. Go check out my website, lighthousestuffy.com. All right, so you guys, let's go ahead and get this started. First of all, shout out to my best friend. I don't even think she watches me, but we've been best friends since a child. And I just got to shout out her artwork. My beautiful friend, Jill. Okay, you guys, genuine souls are hard to find. That's the first message. Genuine souls are hard to find. You see, my best friend, Jill, they used to make fun of her all the time when we were young because she looked different. But let me tell you what, here I am, it's, I don't know how many years later. I met her when I was in fourth grade, so I was like nine. So we've been friends for like 30 years, okay? And we don't talk all the time, okay? We, 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 we could not talk for a whole year and then talk. And guess what? Our souls are like this. So when you have a soul connection with someone, that shit is rare. Okay? So appreciate it. And I appreciate her and her artwork. Every time she draws something for me, it has a butterfly in it. And I've never told her. I, don't even, I didn't even tell her what I do. You know? So maybe this is a time I should probably tell her. But this transformation energy... It's the death and the rebirth. And look at how beautiful this is. Mm. Beautiful. So I wanted to show you guys that and also give that message. A true, genuine soul connection is very hard to find. All right. And I just heard the ancestors say, I send them. So the ancestors send you. Um, these divine connections and it's up to us to be able to recognize them for for what they are I heard labradorite so <clears throat> if you guys um, feel called to work with labradorite labradorite um, is good to enhance your crown chakra as well as your third eye getting messages psychic messages um, <clears throat> I heard and also clearing away, clearing away for your manifestations. Okay. So let me go ahead and yeah, look at this third eye chakra. Okay. Okay. Um, the ancestors, ancestors is here, baby. All right. Look at this red, red to purple root to crown. Shout out to my boy root to crown. I literally, um, we've been getting that message a lot about like meditating from root to crown or meditating from crown to root. You know, um, when you meditate from root to crown, you're taking those light codes from the earth, from the ancestors, and you're bringing them up the ladder, up your spine, up the kundalini. But whenever you're, um, you guys, I play with my hair a lot. I know. Sorry if it's a distraction. I just put some rose oil and my hair, because my hair was like frizzy. I, this rose oil is so bomb for your hair too. But um, when you when you meditate from crown to root, it's taking the light codes and anchoring them into the earth. Okay. <clears throat> throat chakra. Work on your throat chakra as well. Your ancestors want you to speak up. Okay. So let's get some messages out here. So I just want to thank the Holy Spirit. I want to thank Source Creator, Jesus, Ascended Masters, Galactics, Royal High Ranking Galactics, Royal Ancestors of the Highest Divine Truth. I ask for the truth for my collective. You guys, you know I got the truth over here. So let's go. What's up, God, for the collective? 
What's the message for the collective? Amethyst, you guys, this is that purple again. Behavioral patterns. So working with amethyst, allowing your third eye to fully open, but opening to your own ancestral patterns, your own behavioral patterns and things that, that, um, yeah, and grounding, see? Okay, I'm getting so many downloads right now. Let me just breathe. <sighs> Source is saying you may have an overactive third eye or you're just going through a third eye initiation and it might be a lot of information, a lot of codes, okay? Source is saying and your ancestors are saying it's okay to take time to breathe, to really ground, to really integrate these codes. It's not a race, okay? So get some obsidian, do grounding, speak to your ancestors, Be allow yourself to really receive the codes from your third eye, but ground, because you can't just receive all that information and float. You have to be able to anchor that shit. And your ancestors are saying it's for a reason though. I'm 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 giving you guys these codes so that you can unlock um these patterns. Um it's like I heard recoding. Recoding. So it's like uh you know getting rid of getting rid of the 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 old codes that no longer work and then recoding for new behavioral patterns. Yeah. You're getting a lot of premonition. You're a prophet. You're getting a lot of downloads. You're highly psychic. Just make sure that you're grounding your energy. Okay. And remain confident. Remain confident in your skills and in your abilities. Because these are God-given skills and God-given abilities. Yeah. Respect. Respect your, your gifts. I heard respect your gifts. Message of warning. Respect your gifts. I don't know. I, you know, you guys. I do what I do because I'm called to do this. Okay. I ask for donations and I charge money because... I got to, you know, get tarot decks and I got to get oracle cards and I have to, um, it's a, it's an equal exchange for my time. Plus this is what I'm doing for work, right? But see some people you, I heard don't prostitute your skills. What is prostituting your skills? It's like, not valuing your skills. Value your skills. Your ancestors are saying this come look root chakra again. This comes your your abilities come from an ancient lineage and um don't have fear of your skills. Respect your skills. All right, source creator, what's the message for the collective? sing hallelujah love you might be a path life number three here love reunion 27 9 so we have some cycles that are closing when it comes to divine counterparts when it comes to your twin flame or your twin ray whatever you want to call it your, your kingdom spouse okay some cycles are ending Love is here. What's bottom of the deck? Oh, forgiveness. 19, which is a 10, which is the wheel of fortune in tarot, which is the destiny, the divine timing. Yo, there's going to be a lot of reunions and, and um, there's going to be a lot of new connections. There's going to be a lot of reunions of divine counterparts and old karmic cycles are ending 
and new cycles are beginning and forgiveness. Are you going to forgive yourself and them? And are you going to forgive others? And the thing is, is it's your choice. It's your choice. And then you have karmic message and forgiveness. So, you know, look with messages of forgiveness. So, man, and communication. So there's going to be a conversation that you have with your person. Message of freedom. There's going to be a conversation that you have with your person. And there's going to be an opportunity to forgive one another. There's going to be an opportunity to grow out of karmic patterns. There's going to be an opportunity of the freedom of love, of divine love, not only for yourself, but for each other and for the planet. Come on now. Let's get one more card out of here. Don't repress any karma. Car Look, repression and karma. We don't, we don't, guys, we're not doing that today. Some people are repressing the karma. Some people are mad. That's the karmic energy. They're mad. They're angry. But karma is putting them into submission. Oh, I heard karma got them in a headlock. Holy fuckery. Excuse my language. Karma is there as tower moments. So that you can see the patterns that you need to break. So that you can be free. Come on, guys. If you repress and you and you try to not face those things and you just stay in your anger, fucking karma's gonna have your ass in a headlock. Alright? So you forgiveness. Somebody was mad, but there's forgiveness coming in too. But I heard karma is a god. Karma is my boyfriend. So it's like, you don't want to fuck around with karma. <laughs> karma is good and bad. It's all about what seeds have you sown as a farmer, as a cosmic farmer. So that Taylor Swift song, that karma is a god, man. It's like, you don't want to fuck around and wrestle with karma. <laughs> Release, submit, submit freely. Freely let go. Surrender. Because if not, karma will have you in headlock, putting your ass in submission. And karma itself is like, is a God. It's like when, when God says, burr, 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 blows the trumpet, it karmas. Now it's judgment. Now it's karma. It's like, you don't, it's, it's out of your league. It's out of your league. <laughs> out of your league ancestors is like you don't want to I'm, I'm telling you you gonna tap out you gonna tap out you gonna tap out i don't know why this is so funny you will tap out karma will have your ass in a headlock i'm i'm not gonna say it again oh so. it's like you are in this, I feel like I'm talking to the karmic energy. So just take this as it resonates. But I feel like you are like a young wrestler. You know, you, you got some skills. You might be in like a 180 pound weight bracket, you know. And then you have karma. You know, karma is a god. You know, it, it's... It, it don't match. It don't match. It's not an equal match. Okay. Oh my God. I heard Mike Tyson biting Evander Holyfield's ear off. The, the karma, the karmic is going to get grimy. The karmic is angry. And he or she or whatever will bite your ear off in order to win. Okay. So I'm getting like, you know how like, your opposition look we got the ghetto bird outside we got a helicopter outside they're on the run the low vibe entities are on the run i'm hearing i'm hearing my friend's song coattails they running shadow entities cannot hide <laughs> oh my gosh because 
you know, when the ghetto bird goes out, the helicopters go out, it's the person is hiding, but they're going to be found because the helicopter has a bird's eye view. So your ancestors, God, has a bird's eye view and has seen everything. You have a bird's eye view. You have a hot, highly intuitive pineal gland. So you already know all this. This is just confirmation. So it's like the karmic is angry or whatever. And they'll try to even, it's like Mike Tyson biting Evander Holyfield's ear off because he was losing. He a sore loser. I'm hearing sore loser. Sore loser. That's okay. All right, let's get a closing message. Source, what's the closing message for the collective? the closing message you guys i will be uploading this video on my youtube the youtube will have the full video the uh instagram will have 15 minutes tiktok will have 10 minutes but the youtube will always have the full video i'm trying to make the videos under 15 minutes long so you guys can uh, get these messages without them being so extensive all right so we have relationships coming together we have bounteous generously given relationships coming together see there's your reflection so your divine counterpart is your reflection you know and what does that mean the beautiful light that is within you is reflected in the beautiful light that is in them so when you see them and they see you there's a recognition that happens there and it's a soul recognition it's a spirit recognition it's my inner Man recognizes your inner being, you know. <clears throat> you guys open up portals. I heard hummingbirds. So hummingbirds might mean something to you. You guys have a uh, very tribal ancestral protection. Like you guys may be protected by an old, uh, an ancient warrior. Um, your love is the wellspring of life your love is the waterfall your love is the the, the nutrients the to the earth your love opens. you guys when you guys come together your love opens portals to the golden age the golden mirror You've dealt, you guys have dealt with so many narcissistic energies. I heard mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? My God. You should be saying, I'm sorry, I'm talking to karmic energy right now, guys. So keep what resonates. When this, because when this divine couple comes together, they're going to open the golden portal for the golden age. And there's some karmics that they wish. And it's because they're they're going they're doing mirror magic and they're going mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Because they're in competition with divine feminine and divine masculine, because they they wish they were as divine, but they allow evil entities to overtake them. So now they're talking to some demon in the mirror, going, Who's the fairest of them all? Because they need outside validation. And fucking demon lying to them anyways because the demon's like oh you the fairest but <laughs> they just scared <laughs> sorry that's so funny i'm getting kind of like you know how like in the movies where like the evil minions are like scared of the evil which they really don't even want to roll with her but they are him but they roll with him because they you know i'm just getting that that they don't even the karmics don't even like each other is what i'm getting okay it says the wellspring like i said you are the wellspring your love is the wellspring of life okay so we got gentle force. See the portal? 
See, you may work with water here. Consistency, patience, persistence, the long game. The long game. I just heard your person is in it for the long haul. Your person is in it for the long game, the long run. Okay, so be patient. Because it, you might want this union to like come together like that. But great things take time to build. So allow the time that is needed for the building blocks of the foundation of the relationship to come together. Like you guys might start out as friends, you know, but like what's better than having your fucking best friend there like that, linking up with you like that, you know, this person is there for the long game. So don't be forceful. Don't try to force anything. Just allow a gentle flow. Okay. The sirens, you might have a really beautiful voice or you may be a mermaid. You may re um, resonate with Atlantis or Mintaka. It says, use your voice, expansion and freedom. Okay. It's so beautiful. So I am going to read two cards, two of these cards. I'm going to read the sirens. So there may be like, a group of three mermaids. You may have long, beautiful hair. I heard get you some seashells. You guys, I work with seashells as well. Okay, throat chakra. Remember how I said earlier throat chakra? So let me read these and then I'm going to end this video. <clears throat> it says Bountis. This is the one I'm going to read. Bountis. This is the one that says generously given relationships coming together. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy that have been enjoying this reading. And if you are, please like the video. Subscribe to my channel. Share it. Use the information. When water is present, life is present. Mm. It's so your, remember how I said your love is the wellspring of life? When water is present, life is present. Your love is life. Wow. It's a gift offered to us through us generously offered bountifully given we're beginning to wake up to this precious substance we have in our lives i heard your body is made up of however much water it's like more than half your body is water so you can bring life to your body by not only speaking to your body but grounding in water and doing like baths and water rituals okay it says never take it for granted Clean running water is a privilege that many in the West fail to appreciate. And it's one of the many around the world go without. This card encourages you to appreciate the gifts, bounty opportunities, and privileges that are in your life. To embrace what you need, but also be generous to others who may not have what you have. To acknowledge and receive the abundance around you, but also to share it. To appreciate the simple things in your life like running water. Don't hoard what you need. Share the plenty that surrounds you and watch as it swells and grows. Move from competition to collaboration, baby. Rewrite the script of me against you. Mm. Welcome the wellspring that eternally bubbles from deep within. Share what you love freely. So often, life is that much more enjoyable when it's shared with others. Where water is, life thrives. Where water flows, there are much more, things are much more alive. Don't hoard and be stagnant. Welcome mutable exchanges. Share what you've been blessed with and watch as everything around you and within you becomes more and more alive. So I'm getting that like you may have done things alone a lot, you know, but God wants you to be able to share your gifts and your love 
to the world, to others. And there's no competition. It's all about collaborating our beautiful efforts together and not taking people for granted. You guys, I'm getting, and I'm going to look for the card real quick, but I have this card in my personal downloads deck that talks about the, about the feminine being the water and about how people take the water for granted. So let me just look for it real quick because it ties into this card. Sorry, hold on one second. <clears throat> so it talks about, I don't want to take too much time on this. There it is. So September 2nd might mean something to you. Uh, Virgo season, life path number nine, life path number two, life path number five, life path number 11, life path number seven. Divine feminine is the water of life. She's essential. Yet no one realizes it until they have no water and they're in the desert. Isn't that so funny? So I'm getting that the mother, that the feminine is being taken for granted here. But guess what? When you find yourself in a desert, when you find yourself dry as fuck, you're going to want the feminine's wet, wet. <laughs> Oh my god i'm done i'm not tapping into that <laughs> you're gonna want the feminine's wet wet so let's read the sirens and then i'm out of here the sirens in greek mythology which i am mediterranean goddess here the sirens were half woman half bird sea creatures that would entice fishermen and sailors with their sweet and sensual songs. Free and empowered, they were not afraid to share their voice, and they were not afraid to use their natural gifts to attract what they wanted. This card, so I'm getting you're a master manifester. You can easily attract what you want. This card is an invitation to own your gifts, own your voice, okay, to sh share your voice, and surrender into the most expanded version of who you are. You guys, I know it hurts to stretch. Okay, like a physical stretch hurts, right? But then it also feels good. And that's the same thing with our souls. God's wanting to expand our souls. And even though that stretch might hurt, Source is asking us to do that so we can expand into our greatest version. It says to give yourself... to. Give yourself to the music that plays within, to your, your drum, your heartbeat. Share your song without wavering. Be free and dance unrestrained. So dance, guys. I heard dance, 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 dance. I heard that branch, the troll branch. He's like, he's like all gloomy. And then when he meets his poppy, he's like, comes to life and, he, and he's his actual normal color. And he, and he starts to sing. Like he was like scared to sing, remember? Because he had all those opposition, all the Bergens ate his mom. That's what happened. So he was like scared to sing. So he was traumatized. His inner child was traumatized and he was scared to use his voice. And Source is saying, especially when you meet your divine counterpart, you're, you're going to feel even more freedom to use your throat chakra, to use your voice, to, to dance freely, to sing freely, and to be in your own um, music that plays within your heart. And, and I feel like your hair is going to grow back. Your, your skin's going to start glowing more and all of that. It says in life, there's opportunity to become more and more alive and free with each passing day. However, most of us feel more and more trapped by the life that we have created. Mm. Do you feel trapped in the, in the life you have created? I've been there. I get it. Every day I have to renew my mind because I'm not going to give into a victim mentality, okay? 
We are free. We are limitless. We are alive. Okay, so every day there's an opportunity to become more and more alive and more and more free. Okay, what do you need to do to embrace life fully? How can you fully step into your most expansive self? Often while we're growing up, we experience, like I just said, we experience hurts, losses, and endings that we fail to address. Those mer those memories, I almost said marriages. So you may have even been in past marriages or, you know, have been divorced or just been in relationships that you thought was going to be your forever person and it broke your heart. Or you may have had relationships that were close to you, like your parents or loved ones that passed away or there was just endings and losses that you've had ever since ch your child. And we have to be able to tap into those feelings of hurt and transmute them so that and address them so that our water, our life force doesn't become stagnant. Then it will be like a mosquito infested creek or something. We don't want that. We want the water of the living water, the water that's living that flows, okay? It says those memories can stagnate within us and it becomes harder to dance and sing. So have you, you have to figure out what passions have you let die? Have you let, do you, did, when you were a kid, did you like to sing? Did you like to dance? Did you like to write? Did you like to draw? Did you like to paint? All these things. And then at some point you stop doing those things because life was hurtful. And sources saying, saying, that source wants us to move that energy by dancing, by singing, by writing, by coloring, by, by painting. Re, re, uh, what is the word? I want to say reinvent your inner child, but it's not reinventing. It's allowing, ah, oh, set your inner child free. Your inner child is trapped. Your inner child is trapped because this said, do you feel trapped by life that you have created? And what it is, is that it doesn't matter about the, the things around you and your reality. It's that your inner child's trapped. You got to set your inner child free. Okay. We're here to set our inner child free. Set the captives free. Unlock the jail cell. Okay. Because you have the key. It's not like somebody else has the key. You have the key to unlock your own child out of the jail cell. It says every moment of your life is an opportunity to, to change, to thrive and grow. You might be scared to change. You might be scared to thrive and grow. I don't know, scared of failure, scared of success. But every moment is an opportunity to be able to learn to it's like rewalking, like it, like somebody had a brain injury and they have to learn to rewalk. You have had significant trauma, maybe as a child or like I said, from past relationships and you have to learn to love again. You have, learn to love again. So it's like learning to love again, learning to walk again, learning to fly again, learning to soar again, learning to sing again, learning to dance again, learning to paint again, learning to flow again, learning... It's like a, a, a river that was dammed up. Oh, a river that was dammed, that was once cursed and dammed and blocked. Now God and the ancestors are taking each rock and throwing it out of the way. All the blockages are being removed. Now the river, I'm getting goosebumps everywhere. Now the river is going to start to flow again. And then it's going to keep gaining momentum until it's like a, a huge rush of water. Every moment is an opportunity to express yourself, to find your natural, unique way to dance and sing. How are you being called to share your voice and expand your most alive and empowered self? Ashe. So drop in the comments below. What are some things that you guys like to do that maybe even your inner child like to do that, that you can use to expand yourself? Is it, I don't know, is it martial arts? Is it being a ninja? Is it 
Um, drawing? Is it singing? What is it? Let me know in the comments, all right? And again, if you guys want to book, book a personal with me, all my information is in my bio, lighthouseselfie.com. Love you guys so much. And remember, you are a god. You are a goddess. You are more than enough. Ashe. Peace.